Have you ever wondered how much your vintage Pokemon cards are worth today? You will be surprised how much your vintage Pokemon cards can fetch in the market today. And I am going to show you how a common Caterpie vintage card can worth even more than your modern day Rayquaza rare card. Let us first look at how much a base set first edition Caterpie cost. A base set first edition Caterpie is sold for $26.49 on trollintoad.com. A Rayquaza card from the Legends Awaken set is sold for $18.48. A Rayquaza card from the Dragon Vault set only costs $9.99 from the same store. An Evolving Skies Rayquaza V card is sold for only $9.91. And a Guardian Rising Rayquaza is only sold for a mere $1.27. That is even lower than a base set Shadowless Caterpie sold at $3.39. Let's see what happens when we look at graded Pokemon cards. We look at Pokemon cards with a PSA grading of 9. The following card prices are all taken from PriceCharting.com. A PSA 9 base set Shadowless Caterpie was sold for $67.29 on average, while a PSA 9 Guardian Rising Rayquaza was sold for only $12.72 on average. An Evolving Skies Rayquaza V of the same PSA grading was sold for $17. A PSA Grade 9 Rayquaza from Dragon Vault was sold for $78 on average. And a base set first edition Caterpie of PSA Grade 9 can go up to $90.34. Prices are even more insane when we look at cards with the PSA grading of 10. At a PSA grading of 10, a base set Shadowless Caterpie can go up to $92, and an Evolving Skies Rayquaza V can go up to $49.46. A PSA 10 Legends Awakened Rayquaza card can go up to $70.74. A Guardian's Rising Rayquaza with a PSA grading of 10 can go up to $89. And a PSA graded 10 Dragon Vault Rayquaza card can go up to $90.74. Let us look at a PSA 10 base set first edition Caterpie card. A base set first edition Caterpie with a PSA grading of 10 can go up to $338.33. So if you get your Pokemon cards graded, you can definitely preserve and increase the card's value. I will be looking at Pokemon card prices from two websites. From PriceCharting.com. I will look for how much graded and ungraded Pokemon cards were sold for online. From trollintoad.com, I will look for the lowest price the Pokemon card is sold for, in near mint condition. Let's see how much my old Pokemon cards are worth. Our first card we have a Expedition Set Shelter. These dots on its side of the card are actually meant for scanning onto a e-card reader for the Game Boy Advance in 2003. It will unlock the Pokédex entry of the Pokémon you are scanning for, and even unlock mini-games for your Game Boy Advance console. Troll and Toad is selling this shelter at 58 cents. On PriceCharting.com, an ungraded shelter from this set sells for $1.80. A PSA Grade 9 Shelter goes up to $20.94. And a PSA Grade 10 Shelter goes all the way to $60.97. Next we have a Milk Tank from the Aquapolis set. The lowest price on Troll and Toad is $2.94. On price charting, this ungraded Milk Tank can sell up to $2.17. At PSA Grade 9, Mill Tank can go up to $25.57. And at PSA Grade 10, this card can be sold up to $73.53. Our next card we have a Meowth from the Team Magma and Team Aqua set. 
On Troll and Toad this Meowth is sold for 89 cents. On price charting, an ungraded Meowth from this set was sold for $1.96. This card can go up to $22.36 with a PSA grade of 9. And it can go all the way up to $62.88 with a PSA grade of 10. Up next, we have a Team Aqua Celio from Team Magma and Team Aqua Set. Troll and Toad is selling this card for $2.48. On price charting, this ungraded card sells for $0.93. Cents. However there are no transactional data for PSA 9 and PSA 10 graded cards. Next we have a Magnemite from the Aquapolis set. Troll and Toad prices this uncommon card at $3.29. On price charting, an ungraded Magnemite from this set can be sold for $4.79. At PSA Grade 9 it was sold for $44.58, and at PSA Grade 10 this Magnemite can go as high as $126.69. Moving on, we have a Poliwhirl from the Expedition set. Troll and Toad sells this card for $2.48. On price charting, Poliwhirl can sell for about $3.64 ungraded. With a PSA grading of 9, it was sold at $41. With a PSA grading of 10, Poliwhirl can go up to $84.92. Next up, we have a Pinsir from the Aquapolis set. Troll and Toad values this card at $2.68. On price charting, this ungraded Pinsir is sold for $2.50. A PSA grade 9 Pinsir from this set goes up to $27.79. And a PSA grade 10 Pinsir from this set can go up to $79.74. Our next card is an Onyx from the Aquapolis set. Troll and Toad sells this Onyx looking at the sunset for $1.97. On price charting, an ungraded Onyx of the same set sells for $3.26. It sells for $34.47 with a PSA grading of 9. And at a PSA grading of 10, this Onyx can go up to $49. Up next is a Team Magma's Camerupt from the Team Magma and Team Aqua set. Troll and Toad sells this for 89 cents. On price charting, it sells for $2.85 for a ungraded Camerupt. At PSA grade 9, this Camerupt can go up to $28.12. At PSA grade 10, this card goes all the way to $78.21. Our next card is a Manectric from the Ruby and Sapphire set. On Troll and Toad, this goes for $2.99. On price charting, a ungraded Manectric from this set sells for $2.64. At a PSA grade of 9, Manectric goes up to $59.99. At a PSA grade of 10, Manectric was sold for $42.42. .42. Note that was not a typo error. A PSA Grade 10 card was sold for less than a PSA Grade 9 card. This could happen, as this depends entirely on an individual card's availability and demand at that point in time. We hope you enjoyed this video about Pokemon Vintage Card Prices. Please support us by liking and sharing this video and also subscribing to our channel.